Here today gone tomorrow. The Arctic and Antarctica are now within reach of the modern tourists, which many go in to see their icy wildernesses. Before it's too late, Christian and mother reports on the crowd of polar tourism. Travel at the north and south poles has become an expensive leisure activity, suitable for tourists up on age. The poorest may be in hospitable place, but they are seeing increasing numbers of visitors and newer features for the Arctic where tourism has excited since the 19th century have increased from about a million in the early 1990s to more than 1.5 million today. This is partly because of the lengthening summer season drought about past climate trends. Most investors arrive by ships in two billion seven million three hundred seventy thousand cruise passengers visited Norway, toy the number that arrived in two thousand. Iceland, a country where tourism is the second largest industry, has enjoyed an annual growth rise of 9% since 1990. Meanwhile, Alaska received some 1,029,800 passengers, a rise up 7.3% person from 2006. Greenland has seen the most rapid growth in marine tourism, with a sharp increase in cruise ship arrivals up 250 percent since 2004. The global economic downturns may have affected the annual 20.6% rate of increase in visitors to the Antarctic. Last season saw world drop up 17% to 38,200. But there has been a 760% rise in land based tourism there since 1997. More people than ever are landing at fracture sites with light aircraft, helicopters, and on terrain vehicles increasingly used for crystal assets. While in the past two seasons, flight sale operations have begun. This delivers tourists by air to ships. So far, more groups can enjoy a cruise in a season. Longer cruise ships have purpose of carrying up to 800 passengers are not uncommon. In addition, it seems that a high number of visitors return to the pools. Looking at six years worth of data, other people who have been to the polar regions, roughly 25 persons go for a second time, says Lucia Richardson, a senior marketing executive at tour operators of soldiers in the same period that tourism has exploded the hell of the Poorest has deteriorated. deteriorated. The biggest trends taking place in the Antarctic are related to climate trends, says Rod Downey, environmental managers with the British Antarctic Survey 
larger numbers of visitors increase the problems. Although polar tourism is quietly a uh, safety, there have been fewer regulations up until recently. At the meeting of the Antarctic Treaty in Pantima, the 28 member nations adopted proposals for limits to tourist numbers. This included safety cost, cost for tourists versus in Antarctic waters and improved environmental protection for the continent. They agreed to prevent ships with more than 500 passengers from landing in Antarctica, as well as limit the number of passengers going ashore to a maximum of 100 at any one time, with a minimum of one night for a very trendy tourist. Tourism in Antarctica is not without its risks, says Downey. After all, Antarctica doesn't have a Coast Guard rescue service. So far, no surveys confirm that people are going weekly to see polar regions before they train, says Figure Jorgensen. General Secretary of the Association of Antic Exploration Cruise Operators. However, Hillary Clinton and many other big names have been to self part in the northernmost part of Norway to see the effects of climate change. The Society Media coverage could influence others to do the same. These days, rarely a week, but stars without a negative headline in the newspapers, the suffering polar pier has become a surprise of a warming world. It's like a warning that the clock is ticking. It would seem that this ticking clock is a small but growing factor for some tourists. There's an element of do it now, acknowledge. Biscar Campbell Magazine, the rest of work expeditions which took 7,000 people to the poles and nearly leaving the trip until later. It seems may mean leaving it too late.